What is up, my fellow Virgo kings and queens, sun, moon, rising, and Venuses? We're going to be diving in to what's going on with your current situation. I'm not at the table. I'm at the couch right now. But damn, we starting it off like this. Somebody doing some lying, sneaky little fuckbag shit, huh? But let's ignore the background for this video. However, this energy not looking too hot right now. Virgo, what's going down? Ooh, the guarded, wounded, your defenses are up, or they are. That's why they might be going around, sneaking around, doing some scummy little fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Don't, don't settle for that. I don't care how much trauma you got going on. You do not need to help or fix nobody. That's not how that works. Uh-uh. But I'm also picking up, like, I feel like you at the start were hesitant about this relationship in the beginning. And now you're starting to ask yourself, why did I even go for this? Don't get into that cycle. Don't get in that train of thought. You know, everything happens for a reason, a lesson, and maybe... It could tie into like some karmic twin flame contract that you're closing out, but we're not diving deep into that yet. If it pops up, we'll see. But the king of pentacles here telling you, hold the value and hold the line on your own. You know what I'm saying? Have that appreciation and know your worth and value. Tap into that energy. That's the best way to go about the situation. And, you know, yeah, three of wands. You're definitely... You're, this is under that sort of energy and you're definitely trying to find your next exit out because I would hope regardless of your sign that you hold the line and realize what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? That's just me being personally honest and I know it can be a very difficult thing. It's easier said than done. I understand we all been there at least once guaranteed, but you do have the four of swords at the bottom of the deck telling you to meditate, talk to the source, talk to the divine, connect to the universe, con excuse me, connect to your spirit guys and your higher, excuse me, your and yourself as well, and be open and receiving on that end of how to navigate through these waters. And you do have the world card under that king of pentacles here. So definitely a good opportunity that you could step into having that beautiful value of a solid foundation, but doing the work and the healing and focusing on yourself and watch the world that is waiting for you basically to step into after you exit. And I know it's a difficult task, but you do have the Knight of Wands followed up. So this can be very fast paced of you stepping into that direction and the energetic level matching and understanding the law of attraction, law of assumption. What is the spiritual advice though? The moon card. So the moon card to me, I kind of look at it in many different aspects here, okay? It's the deep emotions and mental thoughts, but that scorpion energy can also signify some deep intuitive aspects to both of the parts of mental and emotion in the heart, but it can also deal with some secrets. Maybe you need to express yourself to somebody who you want an opportunity of love. Maybe you need to express those secrets about how you feel, but also connect to the universe and the source and really be open to expressing yourself. No matter what it is, let it out. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold and suppress it. It's not going to do you any good. What's the other uh, card for the moon on the spiritual advice here? The full card. So new beginnings are definitely coming. And this can also indicate having to have the trust and faith in yourself in the universe and see how it's on the, the edge and not really caring much with you. Let go of the baggage. And that's how I'm tying it with the moon card here. Let go of the mental blocks, the emotional blocks, and leave it in the past. Accept it, learn the lesson, and apply it and be the change, but move forward in that direction of new beginnings. And don't be afraid of commitment. Because the full card can indicate commitment. You know what I'm saying? You do also have the Page of Swords. I want to get a clarity on that Page of Swords. Mm. You got to cut out the bullshit of the Five of Swords here. Of self-sabotaging. Stop getting in your head about, Oh, I feel like I wasted my time and energy and effort into this. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I go? Don't get into the victim mentality. Transmute the energy into something beautiful. Be of service of the divine of people and just put good deeds and effort of what you want to harvest because everything is within without remember that 
That's just a short form of manifestation. But, you know, what's the outcome card for you? What's the outcome if... What is the outcome if Virgo exit this toxic relationship and steps forward in the positive direction that they feel called to? What is that? What is the outcome card? Just one card, please. And, ooh. The Queen of Wands. Ooh. Hold on. The Queen of Wands. So you're holding the line in value and you're going to shine and you're going to be embodied of that beautiful energy of the divine both counterparts, you know? And being that authority and authentic self that shines bright, that holds the line, that is of self-love and respect and of integrity and knowing your worth and value and not tripping about what's going on and not playing into it, not playing the game, not falling into any cycles and really breaking free from the Five of Cups energy. So you're definitely having a major test of breakthrough if you're willing to go through and do the work and follow on your end. So you don't have the short end of the stick. So that's all I have for you, Virgo. And I hope that helps whoever needed to hear it for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And I will see you in the next video. Stay blessed as always. Later.